Okay, let's tackle this problem right here. So we have a triangle and it has lengths uh, four, three, and eight. And I'm asking, is this possible? Could we actually have a triangle with these lengths? Okay, now what do I mean by that? Well, uh, you know, think about it. If I had like 100 uh, inches right here, and then I had two other uh, legs, let's say two inches and five inches, could I form a triangle? Well, I maybe would put my two right there, then my five could maybe go like this, but there's no way I could kind of fill the fill this out I would uh, to make a complete triangle. In other words, I would have some sort of something that would look like that. So just because you have three different lengths, that doesn't mean what, uh, that in fact you can uh, construct an actual closed triangle. Okay, so in other words, you're either gonna have something like that, because if you um, have three lengths, uh, you could end up with something like this, okay, uh, where the, the two other sides are just too short to form a triangle, or you might have something like, you know, like this, where you just can't close the gap. So when it comes to triangles and the lengths of the triangles, there is a specific relationship that you need to know. This is something that's very, very important. So, uh, so now here, this one may not be so obvious, right? Like, well, four, three, and eight, this is maybe isn't exactly, uh, uh, the sketch isn't exactly to scale. So how do we determine whether this is in fact a real triangle or not? Is this possible? Well, this is something you definitely need to know and you're gonna have to justify your answer. So if you say no, well, fine, give me justification. If you say yes, give me justification as well. So go ahead and put your answer in the comment section and back it up with your explanation or uh, your reason uh, why you think it isn't or is an actual triangle or this is actually possible. So I'm going to get into this in just one second, but first let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But uh, if you're struggling in your math class right now, uh, whether you feel like you're not getting enough instruction or maybe you don't like the style, uh, your t your teacher's teaching style, whatever the case is, if you're feeling you know hopeless or you're feeling like, oh, I'm failing and there's nothing I can do about it, listen, I can help you out, okay? Uh, I've been teaching math for decades and I really, really focus on uh, teaching math in a clear and understandable way. I break things down so any student can be successful in mathematics. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of mathematics, I can definitely help you out uh, becoming uh, a successful math student. Now, if you are preparing for any uh, exam that has a math section on it, so I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, Accuplacer, Alex exam, uh, CLEP exam, uh, maybe a teacher certification exam, and a course exam, a uh, nursing school entrance exam. You kind of get my drift here. There's a lot of very important exams out there that have a math section. I can I have uh, customized, specialized test prep courses for a ton of different exams, so I can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, you absolutely must check out my homeschool math program. I've been working with homeschoolers for years. And if you don't have any math notes, don't panic just yet. Uh, you can use my math notes. I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. But um, know one thing, if you want great math grades, you got to take great math notes. Okay, This is a mandatory aspect or uh, responsibility for you being a great math student. All right, so let's get into this. Uh, so this is kind of interesting. And this particular type of problem does show up on the standardized test as well. And I'm not going to tell you um, the... Uh, the theorem, okay, that answers this question, but I am going to illustrate this, and then we're going to just uh, we'll talk about this, okay? So here is kind of the setup. So you can see here I got four plus eight, so I'm adding these sides, and then I have three and eight, so I'm adding these sides, and then I have three and four, so I'm adding these sides. So this is how we determine the answer, okay? And what we're dealing right here with is something called the triangle inequality the triangle inequality theorem and this is how we need to know how uh, this is what we need to know in order to answer this question but the, let's go ahead and apply the theorem and so you can understand it okay so uh, in in a, uh, a triangle okay a real triangle and I'm going to show you an example of a real triangle here in a second uh, so we can kind of um, see this in action better here's what you need to check 
okay? We need to take uh, two sides of each triangle. So I'm going to take 4 and 8, okay? And the sum of these two sides always has to be greater than the, re uh, the side that you left out. So 4 plus 8, is that greater than 3? Well, it is, right? So 12 is greater than 3. This checks, okay? So if you have an actual triangle, each time I check these two sides against the other remaining side, this will always hold true. The sum of the two sides always has to be greater than that third side. So let's go ahead and check 3 and 8. Is 3 plus 8, is that greater than 4? Well, it is. 3 plus 8, that's 11. That's greater than 4. So that checks as well. So now... I'm going to check my last uh, two sides here, 3 and 4. Is 3 plus 4, is that greater than this uh, remaining side here? 8 it has to work with all three combinations here. So 3 plus 4, is that greater than 8? No, 7 is not greater than 8. So this fails, okay? So because this fails, this cannot be a triangle. Okay, this is an illustration of something uh, called the triangle inequality. All right, if you had an actual triangle, uh, in the actual triangle, uh, the sum of any two sides is always going to be greater than that third side. So let's take a look at an actual triangle. And this is a nice, easy triangle to look at. This is a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. So this is a real triangle. And let's go ahead and check this out real quick just to kind of see how this works. So we'll go 3 plus 5 is 3. Uh, and 5, is that greater than 4? It is, because 3 plus 5, that is 8. 8 is greater than 4, so that checks out. So we'll just take another uh, uh, two pair here, or two sides, so 3 and 4. So it's 3 plus 4, is that greater than that other side? 5, well, 3 and 4, 7, yes, that 7 is greater than 5, that checks. And so now we just have to check these uh, last two sides, 5 and 4 is 5 plus 4, is that greater than 3? And it is, 9 is greater than 3, so that works out. So this is an illustration of the triangle inequality. This is how you check uh, to determine, in fact, if you uh, three given three sides, you can uh, form an actual triangle, okay? Uh, because, again, if you had like 100 over here, and I gave you uh, these two other lengths, 2 and 3, there's no way I can construct a triangle. I would have some figure like this. Okay, so just because you have three sides, it doesn't mean that you can form a perfect closed triangle. But uh, hopefully, okay, you knew this. And if that is the case, I must go ahead and give you a nice little happy face with an A plus, a 100%. Nice job. Matter of fact, I'll give you a few stars to feel extra special. Let's throw in a mohawk. I love putting those mohawks in there. You know, it's a part of my generation, the years when I grew up in the 80s, early 80s. Everyone was wearing these crazy haircuts. I'm glad I don't see them anymore because they just require too much hairspray. But anyways, nice job. Okay. But this is something you definitely need to know. Uh, in geometry, it comes up, and it comes up in a couple different uh, forms as well, different types of problems. But again, we're talking about some something called the triangle inequality. So, uh, if you didn't know this, now you you know now you do know this because this is not that difficult to get. So, and if you like this video some small tiny way, go ahead and consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out uh, in a big way. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos. I do stuff from arithmetic all the way to calculus, I try to mix it up. But uh, whenever I teach math, uh, irrespective of the level, I'm always focused on trying to teach math in a clear and understandable way. So if you like my teaching style, uh, please take advantage of all the videos that I've posted and will post. But my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.